My role with the Wisconsin DNR is with the Division of Forestry and I am their forest management and ecology research scientist. My day-to-day -day is very varied. I do a lot of different things. Um, I work on many different projects around the state of Wisconsin, even though I am based in northern Wisconsin. So um, one day I might be out in the field uh, collecting some baseline data to start a project. I might be installing some deer exclosure fences to test um, the impact that deer are having on our forests or in some of the younger stands where we're trying to regenerate different species. Or I might be um, in a computer lab and analyzing data or preparing manuscripts uh, to present to the scientific public or preparing presentations to communicate to the citizens of Wisconsin or to my colleagues. I've had a passion for the outdoors for as long as I can remember. Um, and when I discovered that I could turn that passion for recreating in the outdoors into a career <laughs> uh, working in the outdoors, I jumped at that opportunity um, and really took any opportunity I could to make sure I was getting the experience I, experiences I needed. So volunteering as much as possible, um, seeking out internships that gave me varied experiences or summer jobs that took me to places like um, New Mexico um, in environments I'd never seen before just to kind of um, give me a broader perspective on really the wide range of natural resources careers that are, were available to me. Yeah, I work with a wide variety of projects in my research position and, and that necessitates working for a wide variety or working with a wide variety of people, um, both within the DNR and our internal partners. So you're thinking of foresters and land managers and wildlife biologists and wildlife research staff, but also external partners from the DNR. So I work, um, for example, with a wildlife biologist at the University of Minnesota Duluth. I think, you know, what types of personality traits get you there? I, th I think a willingness to um, explore. So understanding how deer are impacting our forests is a large part of my job and I work on several projects that have to do with that. And one I'm most excited about is a project where we are trying to understand how deer browsing is impacting the ability of our forest to regenerate. And so for that project, um, we planted a bunch of different species of trees and we are going in and pretending to be deer uh, different times of the year in summer and winter and removing some of the leaf tissue or twig tissue, um, trying to simulate like a deer eating that tree. And then we're doing something really cool where we're going to go in with um, near infrared spectrometers and measure the leaf tissue with those to understand the, the chemical reaction of that plant. In addition to um, how the tissue removal affects its growth rate and survival. And so we're gonna be able to understand, does that plant react to tissue removal by increasing its investment in say nitrogen and growth or does it increase its investment in defensive compounds that will deter further browsing by deer? And so I'm really excited about that project.